Sagittarius, you are maybe reflecting and seeing or feeling like other people scammed you, lied, or there's just old memories um, coming back up, but it's because we're still processing, we're still clearing, we're still um, mourning, and it's like, that's fine. I don't think that you need to continue to perform so much or like just do like put on this smiley face. You're like, everything's fine. It's like, if it's not fine, that's okay. And just take more time for yourself. Take a break. I feel like there's some people, really good people in your life that you can connect with or there's new people showing up and they will... Um, like replace older connections that we've already cleared out or people that we're just not really feeling that we match our vibe. It doesn't really match now. So it's like, okay, fine. Like, what do I do? Just be patient. Other people are showing up. I promise. Um, yeah, I feel like, ooh, some of y'all could be like overworking yourselves. I feel like some of you could be like working too much and it's like, just slow down. Or mentally, you're going through it over and over and over and over and over. And it's like these old stories are coming up and you're telling yourself, and you're like, ah. it's just like, chill. Like, let your mind settle. Go out in nature, take a walk. <laughs> like, there's a lot of deep, like, subconscious energies. Um, a lot of deep shifts happening. We've got death here reverse. We've got the nine of wands. And we've got the Hierophant here. So like, there's a 10 of coins, a 10 of cups. We have opportunities to expand in new ways. We have a lot of new um, people, projects, things showing up over the next month or two, I feel for you. And I feel like there's a lot of work to wrap up the old projects or um, you're really noticing what kinds of projects, people, things, environments, are making you feel drained and exhausted and you need to identify that because it's really important for you to understand what kind of energies make you feel drained because that kind of thing you want to leave. You don't want to continue investing your time, energy, attention, focus onto the people, projects and things that make you that make you feel drained. It's like and I feel like some of you also some of you are lying to yourself about like, oh, but if I drop this project, it's going to be really hard for me to find something else. Or if I drop these friends or if I leave this lover or whatever, it's just, it's going to be really hard for me to find another person. It's going to be really hard for me to find another. It's like, it's not. You're mutable fire, first of all. So like, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind, okay? Like mutable fire. You can be here today gone tomorrow. You can adjust yourself really easily. Like you need to trust yourself more. And if things aren't making you happy, I feel like you need to trust yourself more and trust your power and trust your path. And if right now you're noticing that some people or offers are not matching your vision, not matching your goals, not matching uh, the life that you want for yourself, then just say goodbye. Like some of you could be dealing with Pisces energy. I have Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius. Like there's a lot of people here. Um, maybe some of you are also noticing that some people show up and then they're gone. And you're like, what the fuck? Was that supposed to teach me something? Yes. Maybe right now you need to just practice non-attachment. Um, you've got these new opportunities coming, new people, and the Four of Swords is saying, just rest, just wait, like, be patient, rest, chill, wait, because other people, other offers, other opportunities are coming for you. Like, you're carrying the story. There's this old story or this emotional heartbreak or um, pain Maybe you lost someone, maybe you broke up with someone, maybe it's just a trauma from the past, but like that energy, that emotion has still not fully been processed or felt. And I feel that you can't really move forward without stopping and understanding that that experience really impacted you. Maybe you don't wanna admit that and you don't need to admit that to another person. You don't need to tell that person that they really hurt you Maybe you can't, maybe you can't even have that conversation with the other person, but it's really important that you understand that you need to move that energy from your subconscious, um, like this old program in your mind, the sub, bleh, sub conscious energies 
in the back, deep recesses of your mind. It's like that shit controls you. That shit tells you the same story over and over and over. And it's like, why? Because there's pain there. And that's fine. Like, welcome to being a fucking human. Like, it's awful sometimes. But you're blocking, oh, bitch, this ace of cups. It's like this ace of cups is trying to come to you. And it will come to you. But only when you begin to actually release, process, integrate um, all of those negative experiences or all of those painful experiences in your mind, in your body, in your energetic field. It's just like, stop blocking your blessings. Stop blocking your progress. We've got, yeah, I feel like, I feel like some of you are just like, oh, I'm just so busy. <laughs> I'm just so busy. Oh my God. It's like, are you busy actually? Or are you just like making sure that your calendar is full so you don't have um, an opportunity to sit down with your thoughts and to feel what you need to feel? Sagittarius energy is really good at just go, 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 go. Like, trust me, I'm a Gemini. I understand. I'm also mutable energy. It's like, we don't want to stop and feel and process and admit that we are hurt and admit that that experience really fucking deeply wounded me. And it's like, but that's how you find stability. That's how you find better opportunities. That's how you find new fucking love. Like that's how you find better opportunities. That's how you complete that cycle. That's how you actually level up by recognizing and allowing yourself to feel that energy. Now the King of Swords, King of Swords reverse, maybe some of you are not fully aware of what the root of that pain even is from. It's like the root, it's like, I don't know what the root is. So maybe you need to work with a therapist, a coach, or just sit down, have a bottle of wine with a friend that you trust and really get deep and chat about whatever is on your mind, whatever you think. Like, where could you start? Where do you think that pain is maybe from? Maybe from what? That is your starting point for the conversation. If you don't want to chat with another person, I totally get it. First of all, I suggest taking one of my workshops. The full moon will be amazing for you. We just had a new moon, but it's like a similar vibe. Like, you want another person to help you facilitate in your mind what the root of your pain is is from, okay? That's what you need support with. Maybe, maybe some of you don't, it's fine. But journaling, um, meditating, chatting with another person, it's just like ask another person or invite another person to help you process. It's not a bad thing to chat with another person about how you feel, especially if you trust that person or if they're a professional, even better because they have techniques and tools that they can help you figure out yourself and then you can clear it and then you can just move forward. Like, hello, we want to move forward and we're moving forward with new work. We're moving forward with new community. We're moving forward with new work, new community, new friends. Looks like we are finding people we can build a future with. That's beautiful. That's amazing. This is cancer energy. So yeah, and the Queen of Pentacles here and the Eight of Wands, both reverse. I just feel like there's an overall energy here connected to the mother, um, connected to what makes us feel safe. And maybe that's connected to your childhood and your ancestors, and maybe they've always struggled. Um, maybe they always had pain or hurt and they passed it to their parents and then they passed it to you and now you've got it and it's like, Ugh. well, you need to break that cycle and breaking that cycle will literally give you more freedom because <laughs> you'll have all these new ways of thinking. You'll have new perspective, new ways of thinking. You'll understand that you are not your pain. You are not your pain. The pain is just in your energetic field. The pain is in your body. The pain is in your mind, but you don't need to identify with only the pain. Your entire identity does not need to be connected to a painful experience. It's like, let it go, literally clear it out. But something about this is just, it's addicting. Like we need to leave. We need to leave that situation. This eight of cups is saying enough, enough, like enough is enough. You don't want to continue to feel that. Well, how do you drop it? You need to actually sit with that emotion, sit with that feeling, and you need to actually feel it fully. And then you can understand it, and then you can work to actually clear it. But like right now, 
there's an addiction or there's um, a limitation that you're putting on yourself or there's a belief system that you can't find something better, you can't even imagine a better life without this story. You can't imagine a life without this person or without this pain or without this experience. It's literally, it's like addiction or it's like you've become friends with the pain. You've become friends with maybe drinking or smoking or shopping or eating or fucking or whatever it is that like there's something you're doing and that makes you feel comfort Maybe it's not even actually comfortable. Maybe it's not benefiting you. Maybe it's not even actually good for you, but the safety you feel with that person or the safety you feel with that um, substance or the, the safety you feel with that pain is, it's known. You've known that. You've experienced that. So it feels safe because you can expect the outcome. And the outcome is that I will feel pain. Okay. I know pain, so I'll just stay and I'll, and I'll continue. But like, that's your ego. This is a card of ego and this could be connected to the father also or a really toxic masculine energy in your life at some point or a system of abuse or something like that. But like, my point is that is your ego trying to protect you and saying, no, 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 no. You already know this story. You already know this experience. So if you continue to experience that, we can expect the same outcome. And when we get the same outcome, perfect, okay? I know this outcome, I already know it. So it means it's comfortable. Even if it's uncomfortable, I already know it. But when you want to break a cycle and actually leave and heal, and when you want to heal and move into a new chapter, that means that you don't have an expectation for the outcome. You don't know where that's going to go. That is scary. That is actually scary. And that means your ego will try to bring you back into whatever is a comfortable cycle for you. So how do we break it? First, we need to identify it. How do you identify it? Journaling, taking a workshop, chatting with a person, a therapist, a coach, a friend, whatever. But stop backing it off. Stop pushing it away. Stop. When that feeling starts to come up, you pop. It's like, no, bitch, because I'm telling you right now, you've got a tower card here. If you continue to like push it away, push it away, push it away, push it away. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. The universe is going to slap you so hard. I'm telling you right now. Wake up. The universe is going to slap you so fucking hard. You have an opportunity to do this internal work on the subconscious mind and to rewire yourself. You have an opportunity to break those limiting beliefs, those limitations, the limits. You can break them. You can get rid of them. Some of you actually need to like move your homes, I'm feeling, or like you need to clean up your home or like get rid, throw out garbage. Maybe there's like things, jewelry or something from that person or whatever. The, like everything has an energy. So like clear it out. But my point is, internally, we need to clear, we need to focus on the subconscious, the old programs that continue to influence our behavior, our lives, etc. And then we can actually rewire our minds, rewrite our stories. Like, welcome to Aries season. This is the first month of the new energetic year, okay? We just passed the new moon in Aries. That's the first new moon of this whole energetic year. Don't waste that energy. Don't waste that opportunity to plant a new seed. Like, hello, this is the page of coins. Plant the fucking seed. Plant the fucking seed in a new approach, a new way, okay? And then be patient. And then be patient because it will grow, I promise. But like, you can't just sit here. You can't just sit here and expect things to change because they're not gonna change until you change them internally and then externally your world will catch up. I fucking promise you. Okay. I love you. If you want support with that change, if you want support with that internal intention setting for this new energetic year, for this new cycle, take my new moon workshop. The new moon was literally less than a week ago. It's pay what you can. It's a home video. It's under 30 minutes. Click on the link in my bio. 
or if you're watching on YouTube below, there'll be a link or just check my channel or whatever, but find the workshop. If you want more support regarding tarot, we have the 2022 year ahead forecast. That's also on my website. And I'm not gonna try to like sell you everything right now. I don't really care. We have a lot of affordable resources, but also our shop is now open for everyone who's been asking about these t-shirts and the sweaters, etc. You know where to find everything. It's on my website. I love you, Sagittarius. Please share this on your Instagram story or tag friends below. You will survive. You just, you gotta go through it, okay? You gotta go through it to change it. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Mwah.